What's up guys, Gums here and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2023 for episode number 70 of the Qantas career mode. In today's episode, we shall begin the Tour de France, this uh, Grand Tour, apparently. We've got a good team, they're in shape, possibly too early in shape. I guess we'll see. And we're on the way for the Tour de France, La Grande Boucle, the best race in the world, the greatest race in the world, shall I say. And it begins with the time trial here in Tallinn. Uh, it's a variant that I got somewhere, probably PCM mod. Actually, that one could be on the... Uh, no, actually, this one is not in the World DB. I, I think it's like Tour de France V4. Or maybe I called it V4 because I've got like many variants of the Tour de France. I don't know. Either way, uh, it's a time trial. The team is as follows. Eden Van and Ben Turner, Ruben Thompson, Josh Tarling, Luke Plapp, Jai Hindley, Finn Fisher Black, Thomas Pitcock. The sponsor's objective is to win the Polka jersey. My... Objective is to win the Tour de France. And with that out of the way, let's try to, let's try to get the yellow jersey in Italian, shall we? There's a Chinese Danny in P2? That's my guy. Go on, J. And Ethan Vernon has one kilometer left in Tallinn. A bit of a cobble sector, I think. Yup, across the line, it is 35 seconds quicker than Zoran Verenschold. Good start. This time trial is completely nuts as Dan Hula. Has taken yeah, the, the lead ahead of Tadej Pogacar in Tiano uh, I'll just take a look at Dan Hulu's stats. Yeah, that's that's not that's what I thought. They're not the best. Uh, Josh Darling has a kilometer and a half left to do. He is currently leading. Don't know how much. I haven't checked. I don't want to spoil myself. Final corner for Josh Darling and the British rider who choked DNC is tied with Dan Hulu. It won't be P1 for Josh Charling, however, one rider who will have definitely a decent time trial, and that's good for the upcoming 20 stages, is Josh Hindley, who has a plus 5. His fitness peak was triggered yesterday. So I am hoping for a 22-day fitness peak, which can happen. It's 20... Well, it's between 17 and 28. Even if it's a 22, the final week will be very difficult. Or at least... There will be a distinct lack of freshness. I'm hoping that the AI completely fucks up just like they did on the Jira. Across the line for our leader. 42 seconds lost. That's already 25 seconds on Tadej Pogacar. Uh, I guess it could be worse. Arrival of Remco Venepol. He was P1 at the intermediate. He's not P1 anymore. 30 seconds quicker than, than Magnus Sheffield is wild. <laughs> that is wild. That's a minute quicker than Stefan King for Remco Venepol. Juan Ayuso, who was very good on the time trial in Georgia, that is P2, 10 seconds behind Remco Venepol. The best rider today, nonetheless, is Filippo Ganna, the champion of Europe. He won for the Italian. Um, also, Jonas Vingegaard is about to get the, the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Jonas Vingegaard is gonna get, what, P5? Actually, no, maybe, maybe P4? P4 it is for Jonas Vingegaard. It's fun. This is this is this is fucking fun. Good. I've already lost a minute with Jahin Lee and I thought it was a good time trial. Flat stage today between Tallinn and Viljandi. Um it is flat but the finish is a bit tricky with a hill and a cobbled wall at the end from what I can see. Sprinters wise we have Ethan Van with a plus one. And that is it. Uh we've got the JBR jersey of the I did not remember that the jersey looked like this. Because I didn't have it. That's that's why. Because I wasn't champion last year. That makes sense. That's why I never saw it. Uh, but yeah, so here's the UK jersey. It's a bit odd. Don't know if I like it, actually. Either way, um, Luke Plap is still here with his lovely Aussie kit. That's all I've got to say. So the sprint we go. It's a battle, but so far, Josh Tarling is doing enough. So far, he's doing enough to be ahead of the train of UAE and ahead of the train of Alpecin, even though I'm seeing... Uh, an important comeback here by uh, Jakub Mareshko, which hopefully is going to stop as soon as Bentana takes the lead. We're going to get boxed in. That's that's the end of our efforts. Thank you, you eight members. Oh, come on, just just stay alive for fuck's sake. All right, if we need to move to the left side, we'll move to the left side of the road. That's that's fine by me. Uh, we're going for Ethan Vernon, but also for Thomas Pitcock, I think. Um, and I, I believe Peters may be the wisest of decisions today. Let's go 99. Let's go 99 with Luke Lap. Ben Tana is going to step aside. We're well placed. I mean, we're entering the climbs well positioned. However, my leaders are not well positioned. That is the... Hold up. Hold up. 
That's the, why why would I take the piss when I can just let Luke Plap and Finn Fisher black on their own? Why can't I just do that? Let's follow Ben Hermans. Oh sorry, Quinton Hermans. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Good. Lovely. Just a simple switcheroo of leadership that nobody saw coming. And it's a win today. For Luke Plap. Does he have it? He does. Aussie win today. Luke Blab, Finn Fisher Black, Quinton Hermans for P3, just ahead of Mathieu Van der Poel. Lotte Kopecky in P5. John Hindley is in the top 10. We're even gonna gain some seconds on the GC favorites. What's not to like? There's very little things that make me more happy than seeing just green numbers on the left side of the screen. And yet that's what I'm seeing. Just green numbers, many plus fives. One, two, three, four, five, six plus fives today, including it in Vernon. As we go from Vendra to Tartu. It's a very narrow road as we head to Tartu, and it means that a lot of riders have been surprised and some have been dropped. Mostly the Team Sky with Leo Hater as their leader, as Leo kind of crashed. And by kind of crashed, I mean definitely crashed, and he got dropped. He was coming back. Julien Philippe is also dropped. Uh, I'm not sure where the uh, leader of Team Sky is. There we go. He, uh, Leo is in a group A1 alongside 106 riders. As the peloton is now going at full speed towards Tartu, I don't think the group behind will have the legs to come back, if I am being honest. Blue Plat, Polgo 99, yesterday's winner. We're sprinting for Ethan Vernon, Jai Hindley and Finn Fisher Black in the wheels. Because I realized that Finn Fisher Black on paper could be a co-leader. He's got the very similar stats as Jai Hindley, he's got 80 Mountain as well. So that could be something as uh, Stefan Kungus crash alongside Fabio Jacobson. That's big for the, the sprint coming up in Tartu. We're getting boxed in by Sian Oetebrugs. Why? Of all people, why Sian Oetebrugs? Oh, possibly for Jasper Philipsen. Like, I'm going to guess for Jasper Philipsen. As Bentana begins the effort, Thomas Pitcock is in the wheel. So is Ethan Vernon. There goes Ethan Vernon. I didn't think there was going to be that many corners. It's a win today. An easy one for Call of the Changes ahead of Jasper Philipsen and Tom Pitcock in P3. At least I didn't crash. That's, that's that. We have a team time trial to begin, uh, well, for stage 4 I guess, not to begin, just to m mock our arrival in France. Uh, we, we're in Saint-Malo, the, 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 the city on the side of the ocean, of, of the sea, should I say. Uh, very, very nice, genuinely a very nice city. If you ever want to visit, uh, it's got a very nice like castle and like fortified walls. Either way, I digress, I'm not the fucking French Minister of Tourism. Um, but... For those who know, Team Time Trials are not my strong suit. Don't think they are the strong suit of anyone on PCM, if you ask me. Um, I guess we'll pace. That's that's basically the, the, the rule here. The aim is to pace and uh, we'll see what happens. Don't think we've done too bad. Uh, Bentana is like th three business days behind. But apart from that, it's going to be a great run to the line by Josh Charling. We've got four riders. Please take on the fourth. It took on the fifth. Five seconds down. I'm happy with that. And the new leader of this sort of France is Remco Venepoel. 36 seconds ahead of Ghana. Then we've got Josh Tarling and Finn Fisher Black in fourth and... Sorry, in third and fourth. Giant in eighth. Quite happy with it. Some more sprints today between Vitré and Cholet. 160 kilometers. Um, I'll just check if there's anyone who withdrew from the race so far. I'm not seeing anyone here. Not seeing anyone here, and not on the time trial. Nasser Bouani lost 8 minutes and 37 seconds on the time trial. Raw. That is... That is quite something. They crashed by Florian Lipovitz and some more riders. Oh, Ruben Thompson is managing to give me water. That's that right there. That is commitment by Ruben Thompson. And I lo love that. Uh, my train is way too big with 5k to go. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Four riders, just like you want it to be. Josh Charling starts his effort. Bentana's gonna take the lead heading into the corner, because otherwise I am fucked. Bentana, Pidders, Eden Vernon. I, oh, Ethan got blocked. Ethan got blocked, it's a shame, because we would have been in the perfect position heading into Cholet. But it's gonna be a remarkably horrendous sprint from us. The win today for Jasper Philipsen ahead of Ander Dudy and Jensen Plowright, who did the best to lead out his rider. Um, yet again, we fail to perform in a mass sprint. Another group here has been dropped. 
and I don't think there'll be any cops. Finally, some hills. Chauvigny, Tulle, we are in uh, the center of France. Tulle is, in Lim is near Limoges. Uh, that's, nobody knows what the fuck that is, because even people in France don't know where Limoges is. And even those who live in Limoges don't want to say that they live in Limoges. But uh, 212 kilometers today for a hilly finish. There is a climb um, a couple of kilometers away from the end. Knowing that my sponsor objective yet again is the Polka Jersey. I may try to fight for the points with Darhin Lee. We'll see. Crash. I think Primoz Roglic just crashed. Uh, I don't know if he's a favorite anymore. Because his stats has, have gone down. Um... I don't even... Uh, it's for Air China. Yeah, okay, he was already four minutes down. Okay. 7k to go. Uh, we're climbing this fifth uh, climb of the day. No, the fourth climb of the day, sorry. A second cat, the Côte de la Garenne du Chat. We've caught the breakaway. All good on our end. I think today should be an easy-ish finish for us, if I'm being honest. Ruben Thompson is going to drop to uh, the level of Ethan Vernon. Maybe not. Ruben Thompson's gonna get 5 points. Ruben Thompson takes the 5 points at the Côte de la Garenne du Chat as we head into the Dernier Bourgeon that will soon lead to the stage finish. How many points for the end? 2 points in Tulle. Jai has lost a couple of positions. Maybe I can try and overtake Finn Fisher Black here to put myself in a better position heading into the finish as we use the gel. Josh Tarling has dropped, or has been dropped by, uh, by Ethan Vernon. Huge effort by the white jersey to try and catch Ethan Vernon. Josh Tarling can step aside the white jersey on the side of the road as Luke Plapp catches and drops Ethan Vernon. There goes Plappy. There goes Jai Hindley. Actually, I could have kept the normal order of the train. It's gonna be close, but it's a win for the world champion at La Côte des Trezvents here in Tulle. Second win in this episode for us. And for the final time in this episode, it is go time between Sarla Le Canada and Osh, 190 km GC wise. Um, Jai overtook Luke Brab yesterday, 109, we're 10 seconds behind Jonas Vingor. We're already a minute ahead of Tai Pugachar. Interesting. Maybe Tadei lost a lot than uh, or a lot more than expected. I'll get one point with Jai Hindley in this climb. Good, I'm on three points with Jai. Perfect. Alright. Let's prepare for the sprint. We've got another plus five within Vernon, so I'll definitely finish around P11, because I'll fuck the train up again. I choked my train, because uh, I was perfect. Like, the train was genuinely pitch perfect. Uh, and, and then I, I I misclicked. Then I, I, I put plap on automatic instead of uh, effort. It's not... Too bad, by the looks of things. Ethan, can you stop being blocked by everyone in the world? Take the wheel of Sian Fredheim then. Ethan Vernon, Ethan Vernon in the wheel of Fredheim, Ethan Vernon. It's going to be my best performance this week. It's going to be a top 5 finish as Jasper Philipson takes it in Osh ahead of Consonin Germay, Nobini Germay and Consoni P5 for Ethan Vernon. The fact that I'm getting P5s when I've got a plus 5 is just, just kind of sad to me. It really is. End of the first week, Jasper Philipson wraps up uh, these first seven stages with a stage win in Osh as Remco Venepol leads the GC ahead of Ghana, Tarling, Finn Fischer Black, Vingor, Ayuso, Hindi, Plab, Eutobrox and Schielmoser. I think we're quite good. Uh, we've got four riders in the top ten and my two GC riders are fourth and seventh respectively. When it comes to the best climbing classification, uh, we lead with Ruben Thompson. Uh, that's going to change in the next episodes. Jasper Philipson is already... Easily leading the green jersey classification ahead of Colza Changize and Stiad Freidheim. Tarling is the best young rider, but not for long as one of you so exists. The best team obviously is Contas, and hopefully I can keep that going. In the next week, we will have the first mountain stages. Les Chalets d'Irati for stage 8, Le Col de Tente for stage 9 as we go to Gavarni and the Cirque de Gavarni. And then some sprint, some hills, some sprint as we enter Corsica. Uh, a time trial throughout Corsica, good. And uh, <coughs> another hilly stage story in Corsica. And then some more mountains for the coming episode. That, however, will be for episode number 71 of the Qantas Caramel. If you want to see that, then please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the phone.